In the heart of a remote countryside, nestled amidst lush fields and ancient trees, stood a magnificent fancy hotel known as the Verdant Retreat. It exuded an air of grandeur, a facade that masked the sinister secrets within. The enigmatic hotel owner, Elias Blackwood, was rumored to be a successful cannabis farmer, and the verdant fields surrounding the establishment concealed his dark practices. As guests checked into the opulent hotel, unaware of the lurking horrors, a group of friends, Sarah, Mike, Emily, and Jake, arrived seeking a weekend getaway. They marveled at the luxurious surroundings, blissfully unaware of the unsettling truth hidden beneath the surface. The hotel's interior was lavishly adorned with ornate furnishings, a stark contrast to the ominous air that seemed to permeate the halls. Elias Blackwood, a tall and imposing figure with an unnerving smile, greeted them at the reception desk. Welcome to the Verdant Retreat. I hope you enjoy your stay, he said with a sinister undertone that sent shivers down their spine. As night fell, the friends gathered in their lavish suite, passing around a joint they had brought with them. Unbeknownst to them, the cannabis had been expertly laced with a potent and mind-altering concoction cultivated from Elias's sinister garden. Their laughter soon turned into nervous giggles, and a sense of unease crept into their hearts. The once friendly atmosphere now felt stifling, and they found themselves casting wary glances at the hotel's ornate decor. I feel strange, Emily whispered, her eyes darting around the room. Me too, Sarah replied, her voice trembling. This place gives me the creeps. As they continued to smoke, their perceptions warped and senses heightened. They began to notice subtle, eerie sounds emanating from the walls, like whispers echoing through the corridor. The hotel seemed alive with an unseen malevolence. Their unease escalated when they stumbled upon a hidden chamber in the hotel's basement. Inside, they discovered a horrifying sight, a room filled with grotesque plant-like entities feeding on what appeared to be human remain. Is that fertilizer? Mike gasped, horror etched across his face. Emily's eyes widened in terror. Oh my God, are those human remains? Jake finished, his voice trembling. We need to get out of here, but escape proved more challenging than they had anticipated. The hotel seemed to thwart their every attempt to leave. The once elegant corridors twisted and shifted, trapping them in an ever-changing labyrinth of horror. In the midst of their desperate struggle to escape, they encountered Elias, now revealing his true self, a sadistic and malevolent figure with an insatiable hunger for power. His chilling laughter echoed through the hotel as he reveled in their terror. You see, my dear guests, Elias sneered, this place is far more than just a hotel. It's a living organism, sustained by the sacrifices of those who stay here. Fear and despair gripped the friends' hearts as they realized the true extent of the horror they had stumbled into. Their thermidic banter had now turned to frantic pleas for survival, but Elias seemed to relish their desperation. There's no escaping your fate now, he taunted. But as the friends clung to the last shreds of hope, a glimmer of resilience emerged. With their wits and camaraderie, they devised a plan to outsmart the sinister hotel owner and navigate through the shifting corridor. As they fought their way towards freedom, the hotel fought back, its malevolence escalating. The friends faced nightmarish apparitions and deadly traps, pushing them to the brink of despair. Yet, in the face of overwhelming odds, their determination prevailed. With each obstacle conquered, their bond grew stronger, igniting a spark of hope amidst the darkness. As the friends finally reached the hotel's entrance, they felt an inexplicable chill in the air. The night seemed to grow darker and an eerie silence enveloped the surroundings. Their breaths became visible in the cold mist as they stood there, unsure of what they had truly escaped. Suddenly, the hotel's massive wooden doors creaked shut behind them, trapping them in a suffocating embrace of darkness. Panic surged through their veins as they pounded on the door, pleading for it to open. But it was futile. The hotel had not released them. It had merely drawn them out of its sinister depths to toy with them further. The demonic presence that lurked within those walls was not one to let its prey escape so easily. As they turned around, their hearts sank for the hotel now stood transformed. Its elegant facade had morphed into a haunting visage of horror and decay. Shadows danced along its walls, and ethereal whispers echoed from its windows, calling to them in haunting voices. They were trapped, their fate sealed within the grasp of the malevolent hotel. Desperation clawed at their souls, and their frantic attempts to flee seemed futile. We have to find another way out, 
Sarah exclaimed, her voice trembling. Mike, the joker of the group, tried to muster a laugh to lighten the situation. Maybe we can ask Mr. Poltergeist for directions, huh? But the laughter died on their lips as a chilling, disembodied voice echoed through the hotel's corridors. You cannot escape. You belong to me now. It was Elias Blackwood's voice, but it was tainted with a sinister undertone, one that sent shivers down their spine. Their minds raced with fear, and they knew they had to confront the malevolence that lay within. In their search for a way out, they stumbled upon a hidden passage leading to the heart of the hotel's darkness. There, in a macabre chamber, they found the source of the hotel's malevolence, a grotesque and ancient spirit bound to the building through dark rituals performed by Elias himself. The spirit, with hollow eyes and decaying flesh, emanated a haunting aura that froze them in their tracks. We can't fight this thing, Emily whispered, her voice quivering. But they knew they had no choice. With their hearts pounding, they mustered their courage and faced the terrifying entity. Armed with the knowledge they had gained throughout their harrowing journey, they challenged the malevolent spirit with ancient incantations seeking to break its curse. As they recited the ritual, the room seemed to come alive with flickering shadows and eerie apparitions. The atmosphere crackled with malevolent energy, and they feared they had unleashed an even greater evil. But just as the spirit lunged toward them, a brilliant burst of light erupted from the sacred cannabis container they had brought with them. The spirit wailed in agony as the powerful light engulfed it, banishing it back to the depths of darkness from whence it came. Exhausted and trembling, the friends finally emerged from the hotel. As the first rays of dawn touched the horizon, they looked back at the once grand hotel, now nothing more than a haunting relic of horror. The night's events had changed them forever. The fear, the despair, and the darkness they had faced would forever be etched in their memories. But they had emerged stronger, bound together by a shared experience that few would believe. And as they walked away, leaving the hotel and its sinister secrets behind, they knew they had confronted a malevolence far beyond their comprehension. The scars of that night would heal, but the haunting memory of the verdant retreat would forever remain a spine-chilling tale.